So Baldur's Gate 3 has sex speedruns in it, which is just completely weird. And we'll we'll talk about that. But you know, I've I've sort of noticed the bar being lowered in video games, uh not only in video games, but in media in general, right? So something I've never been able to watch was Game of Thrones because, you know, I started watching the first episode and there was a porn scene in it and it's just so fucking weird. Like I can't imagine a family sitting down to watch Game of Thrones and they're all watching porn together. Like, hey, hey son, hey, hey daughter, come look at this television show about dicks, balls, and boobs. And you know, that's sort of what gaming has started to become now as well with this uh, Baldur's Gate 3. And I played it as well, you know, I, uh, I got to the city part and I quit when a young female with a mustache started talking to me with like a quest or something and I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done with this. And I don't got nothing against trans people. It's just, it's, it's, it's just weird, right? Um, yeah, I can't, when I, when I was playing the game in the beginning, I, uh, a wizard tried to have sex with me. Uh, it was a, a gay wizard, I guess. And then a lizard, I guess it was a lizard first. Some green frog woman tried to have sex with me. And that, and that, that was pretty, uh, pretty sad, really, to see that. I remember seeing like an ogre sex scene. And then so like, is there any surprise that the big meme has become sex speed runs, right? And you could say like, hey, Jim Jam, um, you know, the game is rated mature, so it's not for children. But like, do you, when everyone's talking about it, similar to like, this is the same thing as Game of Thrones, when everyone's talking about it and it's popular, uh, do you expect kids not to try to somehow find it anyway? Like, you know, you were a kid before, right? Like you, like maybe you didn't go too crazy. Maybe you didn't like, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just to say, maybe you weren't too crazy, but that would be probably like the lowest on your list of like crazy things you were doing, unless you had like very strict parents. But you know, nowadays there definitely isn't very strict parents around there. It's pretty lackluster in fact. But yeah, it's it's the popular thing, and it's it's the meme. So of course, kids are going to be getting their hands in on that and seeing that. And it's just it's so weird that this is the agenda that's being pushed nowadays. There's no need of it. First of all, it's so degenerate. And like you guys know how I feel about the speedrunning community to begin with. It's like an autistic pastime. And I think that you could be doing such better things with your time, like working on yourself or like. Especially in this case, why don't you go get a real girlfriend, right? Um, yeah, I just can't believe that this is sort of the thing that's happening. And people are going like, oh, ho, I'm speedrunning sex in Baldur's Gate 3. Like, it's a funny thing. It's not funny. There's no joke there. What's the joke? What is it? Like, uh, boners and boobs and dicks and balls? Is that the joke? I mean... Back in the day, I was talking to a friend about this, that like if you had a game back in the day, I remember people were complaining at one time because World of Warcraft had uh, the women in the game had more revealing clothing. And they're saying this game is obviously made by a man because look at the clothing that the female characters are wearing. Well, now females have their hands pretty deep inside uh, game development. There's tons of them. I'm pretty sure there's a couple on who are on this game. And it's gotten even worse. Right? Like, it's, it's the more females that start, like, getting the game development, nothing's changing the other way around. There's no, like, more, more, there's, there's less clothing, right? That's sort of what's going on. And it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, uh, it's no surprise, first of all, with the way the world's going right now. The bar just keeps getting lower and lower and lower. I mean, I remember Spartacus, that was popular for a little bit, and I couldn't watch that because, you know, dicks, balls, and boobs. I mean, this beginning of The Witcher, I'm surprised. I think there is boobs at the beginning of The Witcher. It's just... It goes back to, like like I said, um, you know, my dad was uh, watching Game of Thrones, and he was watching it with uh, his girlfriend and their daughter, and their daughter's, like, older than me. So, like, she's probably, like, what, like, 40 or so? And like her husband, and they're all just like sitting on the couches watching a sex scene. And I just can't like, who does that? 
why why it's so fucking weird and then like so picture like a bunch of dudes together um who are watching game of thrones and they're all just watching dicks and boobs go like why don't you guys just all go on Pornhub and watch a bunch of porn like and i know dudes do do that like they share like um naked cartoon pictures with each other and stuff and that's like who who can get off to that like why what are you doing like are you that like starved that that's what you're looking at and like and i think that's what it is that's the only thing i can really like unless you're really perverted and like sexually immoral like some dudes look at naked cartoons of animals what's that about how like depraved and like are you like if you spent half the amount of time you do on that stuff and just try to better yourself maybe you can find someone in real life you know like maybe you can like upgrade yourself you know maybe you can get better and i don't care what anyone says i mean you're going you, someone could say like what do you mean get better like like not jerking off to animals is better it is okay it, it's a hundred percent better hands down it's better i mean i can't believe and you like you have people like asmund gold who like reacts to this stuff and you could i can just picture him now reacting to some video game trailer with his mouth hanging open and like he's almost crying looking at a video game that's coming up and like that's too much calm down relax re re relax it's a video game it's something that was originally meant to like entertain children and here you are like getting off in your pants because a game has graphics or some sort of mechanism you like or i don't know what you'd call it like it, the gameplay is something you'd like it's just it's too much what are you doing it's time to go outside it's time to it's time to better yourself it's time to quit being such a weirdo I mean, I just can't believe that this is where where we're going. And what what if the bar keeps going lower? What are we going to get? Like, what eventually is it going to be? Is it going to be some sort of weird system where you put your pecker into a computer and you're getting like a you're getting like a sex from a from a video game character through a computer? Like, I don't. Maybe I'm just being a boomer, and if so, like I'm happy that I probably hopefully won't be around when things get that degenerate you know like i'm i'm hoping like well I'll, i i won't be regardless like i'll just quit when things get that weird i'm already like basically have quitted uh those who know like my series is it's very ironic i don't actually play the other games because i like them there's not there's very few games that i actually like and even then when i play a game that i i like it falls down to like degeneracy it falls down into foolishness it falls down into like weirdo anime characters everywhere and like people with like anime profile pictures and it's just enough with the cartoons man what are you doing enough with the cartoons enough with the dicks balls and boobs okay enough with it find a better pastime instead of speed running sex in a video game and kids watch that it's so weird it, and it's it's obvious that society is just getting more degenerate and more degenerate the more this stuff is pushed out the more popular it becomes the next generation just becomes even worse and even worse and even worse it's no surprise that like there's so many sexually confused kids and like everyone's like trans nowadays or whatever it's it, it's there's no surprise at all about it Anyways, guys, that's about it. That's about all I got to say about that. Uh, take care and have yourself a good day, and I'll see you again soon.